On this third day of DIY Christmas, my true love gave to me some streaming decision dice. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these and these would make a cute little stocking stuffer or gift for any one of your friends or family. So let's jump into it to see how I made it. I'm Ashley and this is Chip Builds and welcome to my Christmas DIY series. To make this project, you only need a couple things. So I have some wooden dice that I got from the Dollar Tree. We have a piece of StarCraft HD vinyl for the words that we're going to put on our dice. We have this StarCraft chalk paint. So for this, I am using my Cricut Joy with this Dollar Tree Cricut mat and a weighting tool. I will have links for everything down below in the description. So for this, you want to make sure that you shake up your paint really well. And I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into the jar of paint and just start painting this entire dice black. And since this color is a dark color, I'm thinking we might only need one coat. Keep in mind, you might get a little messy doing this, so if you wanna wear gloves, feel free to wear gloves. Since this is a wood object, it might soak up some of the paint into the grain, and so you're just not sure how different types of woods will react to that, so we'll have to let this dry and see if we need to come back with a second coat or not. So we've painted all the sides except for the bottom one. So you're gonna let that one dry and start working on this one. You can also use this paint for your fingernails apparently. So I did get a little messy, I got it on my fingers and stuff, but it's not the end of the world. This is the second project that I've used StarCraft paint on and so far I'm honestly loving it. And I think I might commit and get the other colors that they offer. Let me know down below what your favorite brand of chalk paint or any kind of crafting paint to use is. I'd love to know. These dice look really cool. So I'm just kind of going through, making sure there's no super thick spots of paint, that way it will have an easier time of drying. Okay, so these are completely painted, except for the bottom, so I'll let this dry and then we'll hit the bottom. So to add the words to our dice, we are gonna use some vinyl. This is the StarCraft Permanent HD Vinyl. I chose this vinyl specifically because our words are gonna be really small. I've heard that this brand of vinyl does really well with smaller designs. So I have my Dollar Tree Cricut Joy mats, and I'm just gonna apply my vinyl down. Just like so, and push it down with my fingers. And then we can come over to my phone, and then we can look and see what's happening. And it looks good to me right here. They all look like the, the, the correct size that I wanted. So the maximum width that we can have for these words is one and a quarter inch. So I've sized them all to that width. Some are a little taller depending on how long the word itself is. But so this looks good on my mat. So I'm gonna come up to the corner and I'm gonna click make it. I am using a mat. So I'm gonna hit the four and a half by six and a half inch mat. Hit confirm. And then I do kinda wanna space these out a little bit just so that we have no issues and that there's plenty of space in between each word. I'm just pulling these all away from the edge, just making sure we're not gonna run into any issues. And that should be good. Now we can hit next. And then we can select our accessory and it's gonna be looking for the Bluetooth for the Cricut Joy. So now we can select the Joy and then now we can choose our material. I'm just gonna go with the premium vital setting and now we can load in our mats. And now that it's loaded, we can hit go. Now it's preparing, and then it will start to cut out our design. So now I'm gonna remove the vinyl from the mat and I'm just gonna flip it over and pull the mat away from the vinyl. That way we don't risk ruining any of the pieces. Since these designs are so small and intricate, I am gonna do a reverse weeding method where we're gonna lay the whole piece of vinyl on here and peel off the different parts that we need to weed out. I've never done this method before, so I'm a little nervous, but I think it's gonna work really well. I'm using this transfer tape from 143 Vinyl. It's a clear medium tack transfer tape and I really am liking it a lot. I'll have a link for it down below if you wanna pick one up. I'm just gonna roll up some of this transfer tape and then I'm gonna just set this down like this and then I'm just gonna cut this away. So now I'm just gonna try and peel away the paper backing and I'm just gonna pull it down and add an angle to make sure I'm not picking up any letters that I don't wanna be picking up. So slow and steady definitely wins the race. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out each word individually. So I'm gonna just start with the easiest one. We might 
have one successful one. And I'm just gonna put this at a diagonal and try and center it the best I possibly can. I'm gonna push down in the middle and then I'm just gonna use my finger to really get that on, really just burnish it down. If you have a scraper, you would definitely wanna use that. So I'm just really, really pushing it down and then we can slowly pull off this transfer tape. And I'm just pushing down again with my finger, really making sure that it's really on there. And if you really want to, you can come over top of this with a coat of Mod Podge. Pro tip, cut these before you take the backing off. All right, successfully got two. I'm gonna see if I can weed out this one little piece. That one's making me nervous, so I'm just gonna put this next one on, and then we can remove the middle parts. Again, just putting it in the middle, brandishing it with my finger. I don't super like how that went down, so I'm gonna pull it back up. So I'm just gonna use the end of this to really get it down in there. And then I'm gonna just pick out this little part of the O. Reverse weeding does work really well, but it's definitely tedious and time consuming. So I'm just gonna really push down with my fingers again. Really make sure that's in there. And that's seriously looking so cool. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Between the wood blocks and the vinyl, I've spent less than $2 for this project. It's just very tedious is the issue. That looks so good. I'm also just randomly picking if I do it straight across or diagonal. I don't think there's really any right or wrong way to do it. The reason I made these dice is because me and my friends really struggle to figure out what to watch when we hang out. And so this is gonna be the perfect thing. That way we actually end up watching something and not just arguing about it. Now I know there are a lot more streaming services and genres. I just chose the streaming services that I have and the genres that I normally watch. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions or ideas or thoughts of what I should have been better. I honestly think these turned out really great and they're really cool and fun to play with. And the best part of all, it's a super simple project and it didn't really cause me that much stress or anything. So that was nice as well. You can easily do this in under an hour. Merry Christmas, guys, and thanks for watching. See ya.